<laughs> I was t asking the uh, waiter who happens to be from Chicago, a great guy. He's like, I said, now is this stuff out of a can or is it is it homemade? He goes, it's homemade. You ain't gonna open no can up around here. This is homemade. Hey guys, so uh, I have to wait uh, until probably around noon or later to get my spare tire taken off and getting a new tire put on. Uh, as you can see, that's my spare. It's been underneath the car for a long time. And if you hadn't seen my last video, I, told him about me blowing my tire out so while you're waiting you got to go to pink box so i got a pink box donut right here on sunset road and my the tire shop is just down the road on sunset road uh not sure what i'm gonna do while i'm waiting but i do know one thing i'm gonna eat this pink box donut it's called the dirty twist Okay guys, here's the dirty twist. The guy asked me if I wanted six or 12. I'd like to have six or 12, but just this one little donut right here is gonna be enough to put my insulin <laughs> level really high. <laughs> Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Hey guys, while I am uh, waiting for them to call me for me to bring my car so they can replace my tire, they had to order uh, my tire, said they would get it around noon. I think it's about 10 a.m. now, so we'll see and uh, we're gonna go check out Total Wine while we're waiting. All right, so they've got the private release barrel bourbon. Hmm. And then there's the cast strength barrel bourbon for 82. 82 bucks is a good price. No, I'm just uh, doing a YouTube video. I'm going to see if I can fit it in that thing up front. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hmm. McFarland's Reserve. That is pretty interesting. Great story. I may have to pick this bottle up. It's $39.99. It's a cast strength. So, very cool. All right, just talking to Mark Kanoa. It's K. Yeah, well, I'm going to spell it, but Kanoa great guy he was telling me about this McFarland reserve um, it's uh, have you sampled any of the still Austin no I haven't okay. and uh, they have this uh, cast strength of McFarland reserve the guy that makes this this McFarland reserve is a mil millionaire who basically sourced bottles to other companies and now he can actually store barrels or he had, he would source barrels to other companies and so he would make the whiskey and it was young and then he'd source it kind of like an mgp in a way but then 
he would also allow companies to house their barrels at his place. So he's starting to put out his own bourbons now. I'm not sure how young they are, how old they are, but uh, he's also got uh, this Bondstone. That's from the same guy. And this First Call, which is really nice looking bottles, by the way. And uh, there was one more. Oh, and these big, these giant high wheat mash bill. These are aged four years. That whole big bottle is 32 bucks. So uh, that's pretty interesting. And the managers may be hooking me up with a little tasting of a Frey Ranch rye if it's in. He's not sure if it's in yet. All right, so he did get the Frey Ranch, which he actually handpicked the barrel himself. And uh, so I'm pretty excited about that. Get Buffalo Trace for $28. Limit of one. Wow. That's just wow. They got a. Oh my gosh, there's a Kentucky Spirit for $74 and that's a pretty good deal and then they got the wilderness trail so here's the bottle he brought this to me this is the Frey Ranch straight rye whiskey 119 proof he hand selected this out of five barrels that they brought him. So, pretty darn cool. Alright, this is very interesting. A Heaven's Door single barrel cast strength finished in Irish whiskey casks. 63 bucks. That's really, really interesting. I may have to get that. All right, guys. So, uh, Mark, the store manager, was so awesome. He took me to the bar. We did. We tasted a lot of different uh, whiskeys while we we're in there. And I'm coming out with first thing is uh, probably. You guys like Texas whiskey? I'm not a huge fan, but I did try this, still Austin, cast strength. They also had a single barrel. This was $50. The single barrel was $80. But this, uh, you know, usually I love single barrel, but I just like this a little bit more. Didn't have the uh, Texas funk as bad. And, uh, it just leaves a little hint at the at, at the back as a finish. This was actually really good stuff for fifty dollars cast strength from Steel Austin. I love that. All right, let's see what else we got. This is from the the uh, Barton 1792 Distillery. This is Walcott. He gave me a try of that. This is from uh, this is a Rickhouse Reserve uh, Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey this was only like forty dollars and i'm gonna tell you what this this was really good great flavor ve very sweet i mean one of the sweetest things off the tongue i've ever tasted awesome so he let me try that and i, I had to buy that this was this was hand selected by mark they brought Frey ranch had brought like five barrels down uh and Mark was saying he, he's kind of done with doing single barrels. Um, he said all the work involved and sometimes it's not worth it. But he said this, they brought five barrels and the last one he tasted was the one. He said, I'm going to pick this one. He started the pass on all of them, but thought this was the best one. And so that's out of one barrel and it's a 119 proof 
straight rye whiskey from Frey Ranch is up in O'Fallon, Nevada. So that's pretty cool. I'm a big fan of Frey Ranch and I cannot wait to try this. So while I'm still, I'm waiting on uh, them to call me so I can get my tire fixed. I uh, drove up here to the Silverton, which is a cool place. And I've never played slots here. Tina and I went, walked through. It's really neat. So um, I'm just going to go maybe play some slots and see what happens and wait on my call from the tire truck. a Silverton rewards card which gives you you know free play once you hit 250 you get like ten dollars of free play uh, once you have 250 points I don't know how long it takes to get the points but then also they give you 50% dining off any meal up to $50 so what a deal that is so I gotta take advantage of that you gotta use that on your first day here at the casino so and let me tell you Silverton is very very nice so I ordered corned beef hash and I'm doing this in honor of my good buddy Andy Goodspeed who's the official Corn beef hash connoisseur. I think he won the award for the best corned beef aficionado in America back in 1997, and then again in 2005, and then again in 2017, and then I think since 2017 he's won that award every single year so man when he he knows his corned beef he's cooked it on the uh, on his own stove he, when he goes out to eat like if you don't if it ain't right man you're gonna hear it from andy goodspeed on the quality and the consistency and the ratio of the corned beef versus the potatoes and all the other stuff so I'm ordering that for Andy. I'm a little disappointed because I don't think here at the Silverton Sundance Cafe, they, they don't have it in a can. So that's how I like it. But Andy will probably like this because it's probably, you know, like fresh homemade or something like that. They've probably been like smoking that brisket. and Well, first you gotta brine it. And then you got this, I don't know. I don't know, ask Andy Goodspeed. He's the aficionado. And I said, well, I kind of like the homemade. He's like, oh my God. He's like, he, he, he was going on and on. I said, I was, so I started telling about Andy Goodspeed. Now he hates it out of a can. He's like, I understand, I understand. You, you about made me fall out on the floor. That stuff is good. <laughs> that is good corned beef, so. And the good speed when you get here to uh, Sundance Cafe, you got to try their corned beef. It's good. Now I got to put it on some bread. Marcus from Las Vegas out here in the Pepper Stewarton Hotel. What else do I have to say though? I don't know. Come see you because he excellent server and I enjoy talking to you. Well, thank you very much. Like I said before, I'm Marcus uh, based out of Las Vegas. 
Civil Tech Hotels where you'll find me. Come out here and visit me. I'll make sure I give you good service. Yes, okay, I'm thank sure you, you will. And I'll cook and eat corned beef out of the can. And what? When that corned beef? Yeah, yeah, please. <laughs> corned beef is real. Trust me, not out of a can. Believe me. <laughs> hey guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. And also, coming up soon, I stay at the haunted Hacienda Inn in Prescott. And it is in my opinion, very haunted. And then I went on to Roswell, New Mexico, and I am currently working on a documentary about the incident in 1947 and the cover-up.